Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can run a full MAUI shell inside the Docker container on Windows and also display it on Windows. MAUI stands for Multi-Adaptable UI and it's not the desktop environment itself, it works on top of one. It is a shell and simplified you can think of it like the desktop environment gives you the app windows, the toolbars, the widgets, the icons, and then the shell handles window opening and closing, moving windows around, switching between windows and resizing windows. And resizing is the keyword here because MAUI shell is designed to support multiple form factors and that means that it should work on smartphones, tablets and desktop devices. So one shell to rule them all and they also call it a convergence shell. Now the desktop MAUI shell that I'm going to show you is not the same as the .NET MAUI shell, this here. The .NET MAUI shell handles page navigation and the page stack inside the .NET MAUI application. So it is application specific and it's not the same as the Linux desktop MAUI shell that I'm going to show you in this video. Both kind of have the same name, target different devices, do similar things and have a similar vision, but they are not the same thing. So with that out of the way. This is the MAUI shell github page, you can find all the necessary links down in the video description as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of the video if you want to. Now MAUI shell is still in development, this is how it looks like right now and here you can see how it looks like on different devices and if you scroll further down we are actually interested how to build it. So yes we need to build it from source and then we will install it and then we will run it. So go to the link. We will use an Ubuntu image, so go here under compile and install MAUI shell and select Ubuntu. And here you can find the build instructions for Ubuntu, so you can use this on your Ubuntu desktop as well. I will use them in a Docker file that I have prepared. Now here is the folder with the Docker file that I have prepared. And let's open the folder in Visual Studio Code. This is the Docker file and as you can see it is a bigger one because we need to compile the whole MAUI shell. I will walk you briefly through it. Let's make it a bit bigger. I'm taking the Ubuntu 21.10 image, this one in particular, but you can also use rolling if you want. And then I'm installing Kubuntu desktop on it in a non-interactive mode. The MAUI shell works on top of a desktop environment and in this case we are using the KDE Ubuntu flavor Kubuntu. And if you stick till the end of the video I will also show you how you can display the Kubuntu desktop in a Docker container. And if you're interested how to get the full Ubuntu desktop running in a Docker container, then you can check my previous video, the link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. So make sure to stick till the end because in my opinion it's very cool. Now let's continue, then I'm removing the reboot required flag because we don't need it in a Docker container. And then I'm adding a new user, test user, with the password 1234. And also I'm adding the user to the sudo group. Next I'm installing XRDP because we will do remote connection to the container and display the desktop. And then I'm adding the XRDP user to the SSL cert group. Now the next big chunk from the line 14 all the way down to line 65, I'm installing all the needed dependencies to build the MAUI shell. The build dependencies and the runtime dependencies. You can find all of those on the previously shown GitHub page. Now if I scroll down. There are three components that we need to build. First we need to build the MAUI kit itself, we are getting it from the git repository, configuring the build with CMake, and then building and installing. Then we are doing the same thing for the MAUI kit file browsing, also getting the git repository, configuring it, building it and installing it. And then the MAUI shell itself, git repository, configuring, building and installing. And after that we should be able to use MAUI shell in the container. The last chunk from the line 19, here we are configuring the XRDP session. It will be a cask x11 session. We need to write this into the x session file inside the user directory. And this will be executed for each user through this start wmsh script. And then into the same script we are also writing commands to export some of the environment variables that we need for the MAUI shell and we are writing those into the .xsession.rc file also in the user directory. The complicated thing here is that we are actually injecting code that should be executed with this script here and it should be executed for every user that tries to connect through XRDP. And then we are exposing the port 3389 and this is the port used for RDP. And then we need to start some services, we need to start dbus, we need to start systemd logindd and of course we need to start xrdp and then I'm just starting the bash shell here so the container stays in the loop and waits for incoming connections. And that's about it, let's see how we can build this one. 
go to terminal, new terminal, make sure you're in the right folder and write docker build dash t, the name of the container, I will call it docker dash maui and I dot for the current folder and build enter. This can take some time. All right, let's find the image in docker desktop. So here is the image, let's start it. And here we need to map the port 3389 to the local host. So we can connect to the container through the local host and run. Container is running. Let's start remote desktop connection. Here it is. And we want local host and connect. We trust it. This is the XRDP login screen. And we will use the test user to log in. Test user 1234 and OK. And here it is, the MAUI shell. It's still in development, so some things may not work, but let's try it out. First impression, it really looks like it is built for mobile devices. Let's see what this is doing. It opens these widgets. So yes, I can imagine something like this to pop up on a mobile device. And I actually like it, I like the animations. Close that all. Let's go to start. And now these are all KDE applications, and I want to open the console with a K. And here I want to install htop. It's a bit hard to grab the edge to resize it, but anyways, htop. All right, we are running at 1.54 gigabytes. Seems a lot at the first boot, but I don't think this is Maui specific. Now I notice there is no close button there. I will leave it running and open another application. Let's try LibreOffice Draw. I want to draw. Let's see how it performs. Not bad. It is a bit laggy, but this is expected on a remote desktop connection. So overall, it works as it should. And now here is the close button. That's interesting. And I can't really move it around. Well, then let's close it. Can I drag this around? Not really. Resize. No. I'm not sure if this is a feature because it looks like it is disabled on purpose, but the dock is somehow hidden down there. Can I switch the window to console? It does not look like I can. Maybe LibreOffice is a bad example. Let's close it. Let's try something else. Kate, the text editor. All right, I can drag this one around. And by the way, the Kate text editor is excellent. I used it a lot in the past. It has a lot of built-in functionality like documents, projects, Git repositories, file system browser, and also a terminal if you want. Really awesome app. But can I write in it? All right, it works. Let's make it a bit bigger. Can I now switch windows? Yeah, now it works. And I like the animation. Let's see what this one is doing. So this is interesting. You can see your open windows and you can also close them if you want to. So maybe this is where they are hiding the X button. Let's see if I can switch the window. Yeah, this works without any problem. Show desktop brings you back to the desktop. That's all right. The settings currently not working. Let's try clear all also not working, but this is still in heavy development. So I don't expect things to work out of the box. Let's try to close this one at least. Oh, do I want to save it? Can I click on the button here? No, it opens the window, but I can discard it here. Finally, let's try Firefox. It does not seem to work, and I think this is definitely a bug. But anyways, the first stable version of the MAUI shell is expected to be released in September 2022. So they have time to fix all those little issues. And that's it about MAUI shell. I am very excited about the project, and I can't wait to test the first stable release in September. Now, if you don't want to test the MAUI shell in a Docker container like I am doing here, you can test the Nitrux Debian based distribution. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Nitrux or Nitrux, but the link should be down in the description. Now, it uses KDE desktop environment, but it also ships with the MAUI shell, and you can test it there in the full distribution if you want to. And here is the download link. And now, for all of you that stick till the end of the video, let's remove the container and the MAUI image. Let's see how we can run Kubuntu here in a Docker container. So first we don't need the MAUI shell. Get rid of that. We don't need the X session. Now we need to tweak the environment variables. We don't need those. And this one will be current desktop KDE. And then here this will be Kubuntu. 
And that's it. So we are installing Kubuntu desktop, adding the test user, installing XRDP and configuring XRDP with a few environment variables. And then starting Dbus, starting systemd login D, starting XRDP and the bash shell. Let's try it out. Docker build dash T, I'll call it Docker Kubuntu. And I dot for the current folder and enter build. All right, here is the image. Let's start it. Map the port 3389 and run. Container is running. Let's connect to it. Localhost connect. We trust. XRDP login screen. Test user 1234. And here it is Kubuntu in a Docker container with all the standard apps. And it works pretty nice. And the interesting thing is you can also log out here and it will close the session. For some reason you can do it here, but you cannot do it in the full Ubuntu. And now a cherry on the top, if you delete all of the environment variables and just build it like that, Docker KDE I will call it, you will get the vanilla KDE desktop. Let's remove the old container. Here it is, Docker KDE image. Let's run it and let's connect to it. Localhost connect, we trust. Test user one two three four, and here it is KDE vanilla desktop. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, if you like my content, then please subscribe, give a like, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.